Yeah, Austin, would you ever be a stand-up comedian? Um, I've actually thought about it a few times because like I have some friends that are into that's enough comedy. Times. Yeah, that's you enough times I mean? to do it. I was literally thinking the same thing. Like, bro, do it. Like, the, the only thing I just um I. <sighs> I feel like if all right, so look, I'm a barber, right? And I like to crack jokes with people. I like to be a fun barber. I like to be cool. You know, and you guys can feel my energy. I'm this way all the time. And um and there's comedians that come to me and I and I've been to come a few of their shows, but like I feel like it would be me overstepping to be like, yo, can you get me on to like your comedian like route? Like or not not a route. Like I don't know. Like, can I be on the next set? Like it's like, it's like know, if they wanted to be a barber, like I don't know if I could just. You know, you does know that you make got, sense? You know what you gotta do, bro. What, <laughs> what I say is, you gotta live life on montage mode, right? Okay. Like, what imagine, does that mean? Imagine right now, like right now, this is this probably is not gonna get a lot of like views per se, right? Right now, but then you gotta be like, push it to the limit, <laughs> <laughs> and like fifty podcasts later, I was like, those numbers are going up and shit. That's true. People you start coming back to this. You're right. They start pulling shit up. That's that's what I do in the gym. I'll be like, I'm like, all right, I'm in montage mode, right? Okay. Like I'm just like, okay, it's like um it's like that those boring moments of like, you know, the grind. It's like you gotta see it as a montage in the pad, like it, like in the higher up. Right, right. Yeah. Like like in the final edit of, of your process. life. Yeah. yeah. It's really just like a second fucking jump cut. Yeah. But it's like you actually have to live through it. I know it's exactly funny. what you this mean. Shit is- it gets tedious sometimes, but that's how life is. That's why you got to go truth. montage. Yeah, you, you just got to see it's like, bro. push yeah. it to the limit. <laughs> yeah, push it to the limit. <laughs> nah, even, even today, bro, like doing this podcast, like oh. I love doing these podcasts, don't get me wrong, but before doing any podcast, it's like, it's effort. So I'm thinking like, yeah. damn, we got to do something today. You know, like I work three days, four days out of the week, and it's like, damn, on the days that I have off, I kind of got to do something. But yeah. once I'm here doing Not it, bro. Me, I, I love, love doing it. No, no, no. I, know. <laughs> I do it every day, bro. <laughs> nah, I feel you. And I, it's talking on the camera. Of course. It's, it's the easy. easiest fucking thing ever. And I'm not looking at it, but it also at the same time, these conversations take energy. You can't do this every day. No, it doesn't take energy. It gives us energy because I was tired all day and now I'm not. Fair enough. <laughs> it's Even though it's enough. his third natty ice, though, right? <laughs> <It's my fourth. laughs> let's but think look, about four. Let's say, let's say you do this every day for 30 days, but you have to rest eventually. No. You know what I'm saying? Bro, like, I can there's talk a, point. a lot. I talk a lot. I could talk a lot too, and that's the thing too. There's a, there's a difference between like mental capacity and you know what I'm saying. How much energy you that's have? True. Everyone's different though, and that's something that I've come to realize because I was crazy. Is like I'm a fucking energizer bunny, and that's that's why I fuck with Nick because I I know that like we're similar <laughs> in that sense. <laughs> energizer <Pause. laughs> bunny. Um, <laughs> but but bro, like I I'm the kind of person, bro. Like when I was really really at it, like. When I was living at my mom's crib, it's funny enough, but it's like, that was like a drive. It's like, I would sleep like fucking four hours, bro. Like my body was programmed to just four hours because all night long I'm doing shit. I'm in my mom's fucking garage recording music. I'm doing some shit. I'm editing something. You know what I mean? I'm fucking slapping reverb on a song and I didn't know shit, but I was like doing it. And like, it's different now. Like as I've moved out, I feel like I've, I've accomplished something and like the drive kind of lessens almost to do things. So it's like now being here again, like I feel charged, bro. Like you guys gave me this energy and it's wild. And like, I don't want it to stop. I'm happy for that. But it's so funny. I was literally thinking that today where I was like, yo, what happens if I don't pay my rent this month? I got to go back (laughs) to my mom's crib. That's so real, bro. (laughs) And let me tell you, it's like, where's going back to your mom's, right? It's like hell. And like, (laughs) and bro, rock bottom. You you get used to just being like out on your own. And to just be your own boss. Like, look, right now, if our mom was here, she'd be like, you need to turn this off. People oh. need to sleep. <laughs> People need to sleep. Yeah, yeah, it smells yeah. like weed in here. Oh, Gianni, I have to work in the morning. My name is Gianni. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Gianni. Gianni. <laughs> <laughs> Gianni. I just tell your mom that? Yeah, no, right. She'd be like, Gianni, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, she watched the podcast, bro. She asked me to send her a clip For of real? it. Yeah, wow, she watched it. And in the beginning, she was like, oh, uh. You guys said you're famous. You're not even famous. And she started wow. laughing. I'm like, no, why are you trying to put me down, mom? She's like, no, it's just funny that you guys are like, bro, we got to speak it into existence. Bro, I'm so happy my mom doesn't watch it because my mom's mean. 